Hey guys, Brandon with Whiskey River Trading. So I'm here with the new 28 NEC, which is the New England Curved Handle. 28 inches overall. And this is a Maine or New England style handle that we just launched and we'll be dropping on site here shortly. So I just wanted to hang a head on it. This is a New England style head that we picked up or Ben of Baryonyx sent us to uh, do this video with. It is a three and a half pound, it's stamped three under the pole. It's got that kind of main shape to it. Just got a little bit wider of a uh, of cheeks on there. So we're gonna hang this on this 28 inch handle using a walnut wedge, a Shinto rasp, uh, an ash mallet that we hope to be uh, offering eventually in our store. This is a prototype, so stay tuned for that. And a Japanese pull saw here, which is makes quick work of cutting off the kerf. So first with these, since they do have this angled uh, palm swell versus the 30C, which I've got right here, which has got this straight palm swell, you're gonna wanna add something to this. Some guys have made these uh, brackets that kinda like, are like, a, like a little stop that sits over the top of this. Um, some folks will cut a piece of wood to fit in there and then tape it on. I just use a rag and just use, take a rag, fold it a couple times here like this. And then I just tape it on. Some electrical tape, some electrical tape. And this will kind of lighten the blow, especially if you are not at the perfect angle, uh, because if you hit that handle, uh, that palm swell on the point, it will break or runs the risk of breaking. So. Son of a Son of a I'm just gonna beep that a bunch. <laughs> just beep, 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 beep. We're getting it. So this is a great way to um, save a vintage handle. If you've got like a vintage handle that you're like, wow, I really wanna save that, but someone's already carved the palm swell out, you can just tape a rag on the end. <clears throat> and then on that same topic, we got a rag here for clamping it into the vise. So that way um, the vise doesn't do any damage to it. So here we go, head. It pretty much slips on there. It's not like it's uh, gonna take a lot of work. It's, these, this handle's like perfect for this specific head. You win some, you lose some on these. Sometimes you get a head that's uh, a lot smaller or sometimes you get a head where you're like, oh, I don't have enough material to fill that. So we're gonna start carving away. Pull this off. We're gonna give a couple good whales. Hang it like this. Pull that handle up there into the eye, and that'll give us some markings on the side of the head here that will, or on the side of the handle from the inside of the eye, and that'll tell us where we need to remove more material. What the heck? Head's peeking out the top. Well, we want to set that down another, probably about another inch. We're going to take some off the back because we're already curling on the back. So keep in mind when you're hitting this to hit it at an angle because even with that rag there you wouldn't want to hit that point if you hit that point or you miss hit it runs a risk of chipping off that fawn's foot so kind of come in at an angle like this and strike it 
and that'll pull that head right up. It looks like we're right where I want to be for it. So I'm going to clamp this in, clamp the head in the vise, and cut the top off of this just a little bit so that we can get that wedge in there. Okay, so I like to leave the uh, handle sticking out <clears throat> close to what I want for it to be when I trim it off for the final trim after it's wedged. I just prefer that. So we're only gonna have to take off a little bit off this wedge um, to get it to lock in, fit down in there. And I'm just gonna use a shit toe rasp quick. It'll make quick work of this. All right, so we're gonna take this down to the floor and uh, show you guys how to set the wedge. So here we go. I'm just placing this like this on the concrete. I'm gonna slowly drive the wedge in. And you're gonna be able to hear it change. That's it bottomed out. So you might get some cracking here, right? In that wedge, but once you cut it off, you won't see those cracks because it's all compressed in there. So that's a nice, nice fit. There we have it. So we can unwrap our palm swell here of our tape. And there you have it. Nice protected palm swell like it was originally. Nice and sharp, the head's hung. And now we're uh, ready to put an edge on it and swing it. So there's our 28 main. Swing feels great, nice and balanced. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and sand this. I'll take some sandpaper to it. Uh, before I swing it just so there's no slivers or whatever this is still rough from that Shinto rasp, but um, and then we'll use some axle oil on it and Maybe we'll take it out into the woods. We'll see we might probably just we might just send it out to Ben and see if he wants to swing it so and So this is the 28 NEC handle in our heritage line handle and uh, It's available on whiskeyrivertrading.com like follow subscribe comment below your thoughts Stay sharp and uh, see you next time.